Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will learn about uh, the coin change problem and we have to find out the minimum number of ways by which a change can be generated. Uh, uh, for example, we have the coins of denomination 1, 5, 6 and 8 and we have to generate 11 and we have to find out how many coins are required in minimum or how many minimum coins are required by which this 11 denomination can be generated. So we will be finding a dynamic programming solution to this and this will be a 2D dynamic programming problem because we will be using a 2D normalization table. Okay, so uh, for finding the solution of this, let us consider that we are taking the this normalization table T, and the size of this normalization table will be if I have to generate uh, 11 on the column side, I will be taking up to 11, and the coins will be taken on the row side. So since we have one, two, three, four coins, uh, the number of uh, rows will be five actually. We're taking an additional row and additional column as we used to take for every question related to uh, the dynamic programming just to take the reference values for example if i have a coin of zero denomination and i have to generate zero so there are uh, zero minimum coins similarly if i have zero coin and i have to generate one so there are zero coins by which these denominations can be generated or you can say that these denominations cannot be generated. So for on the column side, what we are saying that if I have uh, the uh, if I have to generate zero, so if I have zero coin, there is zero coins will be selected. If I have zero and one both, all in that case also zero coins will be selected in minimum. If I have zero one and two both, zero coins are required. Similarly, here zero and here zero. So these are the reference values, and after which we will be finding out the solution. Now for finding out the solution, we will have to first consider that I have a coin of denomination 1 only. So if I have a coin of denomination 1 only and I have to generate 1, in that case there is one coin required of one denomination by which it can be generated. Okay, And let's say if I have to generate 2 and I have the coin of denomination 1 only, so you require 2 coins. If I have to generate 3 with the help of this one, so 3 coins are required of 1 denomination. Similarly, for 6, I need 6 1 coin. For 7, I need 1 denomination coin 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. If I have to generate 11 denomination with the help of coin 1 only, I require 11. Here you can see that these are referring to the different coin denominations. You can write the coin denomination here also. This is referring to 1, this is referring to 5, this is referring to 6 and this is referring to 8. So here was the i. Okay and let's say I have the coin of 2 also. So now i has changed from here to here. I have the coins of 1 denomination and 2 denomination both. Okay and I have to generate 1. So this is j. So by the time j is less than coin i, it means 5, there will be no change in these values. I can make the changes or I can observe the changes only if I reach to this 5, if 5 has to be generated and the denomination of coin is also 5. Then all, only the changes can be observed. But before this means while j is ranging from uh, this f less than or equal less than 5 there will be no changes so I will be copying the values of above row now j has reached here at 5 and the denomination of the coin is also 5 then some changes can be there so how can we find out uh, that change uh, if j is 5 and the denomination of coin is also 5 that actually means that I have, let's say I have selected this coin. If I have select this coin, the number of coins that I have taken is 1. Fine. And then after, ta after taking this coin, the denomination that I had to take was 5. And the denomination of this coin is also 5. So 5 minus 5 is 0. 
so i need to have zero denomination more it means i do not need any more denomination so there is only one coin is required for generating this five okay how can we find out with the help of the formula if you see first of all j is equal to coin psi if j is less than coin psi i cannot make any 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 changes in the table but if j is equals to coin psi there is a possibility of the change so how will that be done you try to find out since you have taken this uh, denomination count so one is the count of that denomination plus you are referring to the same row with j minus coins i why j minus coins coins i j is the column number and coins i means you have taken this denomination so you subtract that from j so now you are referring to j minus coins i means 5 minus 5 5 minus 5 means 0 so you are referring to t to 0 so t to 0 value is 0 so 0 plus 1 is one here okay it may so happen that if uh, this value is coming out to be more than this value because we are taking the reference value this one if this value is coming out to be more than this one then this value will be selected so once you have found this and this both you will be selecting the minimum of these two okay so we will have to find out the minimum of t i minus 1 j and the value that we have found i j minus coin psi 1 is added because we are selecting that coin and after that whatever is the reduced value we will have to find that also now for this one j is going to change okay so t i minus 1 j is this entry and we need to make changes here so j has come to 6 so 6 minus 5 so we are referring to t21 so t21 entry is 1 so 1 plus 1 2 coins are required okay for finding out this entry j is j is 7 so you're going to make change here so this value is 7 7 minus 5 is 2 you are referring to t22 so t22 entry is 2 so 1 plus 2 3 entry so three out of three and seven three is minimum okay and then for finding out this entry j is changing to eight so you need to compute eight minus five here j minus coin psi this is three so t two three entry is referred t through two three entry is three so one plus three is four out of eight and four four is minimum similarly for this entry is 9 minus 5 j is 9 so you're referring to t2 t4 entry t2 4 entry is 4 so 4 plus 1 is 5 out of 9 and 5 5 is minimum okay an interesting change is going to come here now j is 10 if j is 10 i am going to compute t2 5 entry so 1 plus t2 5 entry so t2 5 is 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 here out of 10 and 2 2 is minimum why has it happened i have a coin of denomination 5 okay i have a coin of denomination 5 and i have to generate 2 i have to generate 10 so you can take two coins of five denomination so there are two coins required to generate 10 just to find this 11 j will change to 11 so 11 minus 5 so you're referring to t to 6 entry so t to 6 entry is 2 so 2 plus 1 is 3 so 3 coins are required for this one and out of 11 and 3 3 is minimum let us find out the entry of this table in this table things will not change up to fifth row the things will start changing so fifth column the things will start changing from sixth column because the denomination of the count is 6 now so referring to this row means that i am i now have a coin of 1 5 and 6 denomination all okay i have the coins of denomination 1 i have a coin of denomination 5 and i have the coin of denomination 6 also so up to the fifth row we will be copying the value of above row 
so one two three four and one has been copied and now we will be finding out this entry what is this entry this entry is t three six entry so t three six entry will be minimum of t above row entry t two six or you select this coin and then you find out t three j minus coin psi so j is six and the denomination of this coin is six so one plus t three zero t three zero is zero okay so one plus zero means one coin so there is only one coin required to generate six obviously if i have a coin of denomination six and six is to be generated only one coin will be required now for finding out this entry this j value is seven so this will change to seven i am referring to t3 one entry so t3 one entry is one so one plus one is two here out of three and two two is minimum for finding out this entry the j value is eight so t3 two entry t3 two entry is two so one plus two is three minimum of four and three is three so we'll select this one for finding out this entry this value is changing to nine so t3 three entry t3 three entry is three three plus one is four out of five and four four is minimum and then for finding out this entry this value is 10 so t3 four entry t3 four entry is four so four plus one is five okay four plus one is five but here this value is two so out of two and five two is minimum so this will be selected right now for this entry this is 11 so i'm referring to t3 11 minus 6 so 11 minus 6 means 5 t3 5 entry t3 5 entry is 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 out of 3 and 2 2 is minimum so if i have the denomination 1 5 and 6 and i have to generate 11 if you select the coin of 5 and 6 then 11 will be generated so you require only two coins here now i have a coin of denomination 8 also i have a coin of denomination 1 5 6 and 8 all so there will be no change up to column number 7 so copy all the entries up to column number 7 the things will start changing from 8th column so either uh, for finding out this entry this entry is t 4 8 entry so for finding out this entry either t 3 8 is minimum or you select this coin and then try to find out the entry t4 j is 8 minus coin psi is 8 so 8 minus 8 t4 0 so t4 0 entry is 0 1 you have selected this coin plus 1 so out of 3 and 1 1 is minimum and then for finding this entry the j is 9 so you change this 8 to 9 so 9 minus 8 is 1 so t4 1 t4 1 entry is 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 out of 4 and 2 2 is minimum for finding out this entry this changes to 10 so now you're finding t4 2 t4 2 entry is 2 so 2 plus 1 is 3 out of 2 and 3 2 is minimum so above value will be copied for finding out this entry j changes to 11 so 11 minus 8 is 3 so t43 3 entry t43 3 entry is 3 so 3 plus 1 is 4 out of 2 and 4 this 2 is minimum so this is the answer so two coins are required to generate 11 fine you have to generate 11 if you select this 5 and 6 you might have found the answer okay 
so this is how we generate this coin or how we find the minimum number of coins by which this did change can be generated so let us now try to write the algorithm for the same let's say the algorithm name is minimum number of coins so what is given we have been given a coins array let's say there are n coins here and denomination that we have to generate is m so we have uh, taken uh, a 2d array sorry so minimum number of coins coins is the array n is the number of uh, coins and m is the denomination that has to be generated so we have made a table table on the row side we are taking the coins on the column side we are taking the denominations so the table which is required to be created has to have a size of t n plus 1 and m and let us initialize all the entries of this table to 0 okay by making this uh, what what we are actually assuming that the first entry of the table has been initialized to 0 and all other entries will be automatically initialized to 0 okay so we need uh, the first row and first column values to be set as 0 you can see that first row and first column values are required to be set as 0 that's why we have done this so even if the entire table entry has been initialized to 0 our task is done what do we need actually we need to find out all the entries of the table so it is a 2d array so uh, the nested loop will be required here on the row side we have the coins so n on the column side we have the denomination so m and now we are going to find out the entry what you have seen here that the changes will be made only if j is greater than or equal to coins i if j is greater than or equal to coins i then only the changes can be made and how the changes are found we have to find the tij entry so this tij entry is minimum of either ti minus 1j earlier, earlier that we have found with the lesser denomination or ti j minus coin psi and since you are accepting this coin so the number that will be accepted with that coin or the times that you have selected that coin is 1 so 1 plus this entry so whatever is the minimum of this one that will be selected otherwise means if i am not select if i if j is not greater than coin psi in that case the entry of above row will be copied so tij will be equals to the previous row and same column value fine now once this loop will finish i will have the information about the minimum number of coins for that denomination and that entry will be you can see that this entry is here in this table at the last row and last column value so last row last column means t nth row and mth column value so this is the answer Okay, so we have found this uh, minimum number of coins with the help of the dynamic programming solution. We are saying that this is the dynamic programming solution because we have used a memoization table and uh, this memoization table is of 2D type it means we are taking a 2D array so that's why it's a two-dimensional dynamic programming solution. Thank you.